Welcome, explorers and enthusiasts. Today, we are going to dive into the fascinating biblical universe and discover who the three giant creatures described in the Bible are. Get ready to unravel mysteries and explore stories full of symbolism and meaning. We will reveal the narratives behind these impressive creatures. Join us on this exciting journey. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, as this is an experience you won't want to miss. Let's go! Behemoth, or Behemoth, is a creature described in the Bible, in the Book of Job. Its description is traditionally associated with that of a giant monster, often portrayed as a hippopotamus, although some creationists identify it as a sauropod or a giant three-horned bull. This creature has an armored body and is typical of deserts, although behemoth was also how the Hebrews referred to hippos. Some young earth creationists believe it is a description of a dinosaur. Behold, behemoth, which I made as I made you. He eats grass like an ox. Behold, his strength in his loins and his power in the muscles of his belly. He makes his tail stiff like a cedar. The sinews of his thighs are knit together. His bones are tubes of bronze, his limbs like bars of iron. He is the first of the works of God. Let him who made him bring near his sword. Indeed, the mountains yield food for him, where all the wild beasts play. Under the lotus plants he lies in the shelter of the reeds and in the marsh. The lotus trees cover him with their shade. The willows of the brook surround him. Behold, if the river is turbulent, he is not frightened. He is confident, though Jordan rushes against his mouth. Can one take him by his eyes or pierce his nose with a snare? In Orthodox Jewish tradition, Behemoth is the monster of the land par excellence, opposed to Leviathan, the monster of the sea, and Ziz, the monster of the air. According to Orthodox Jewish tradition, Behemoth's mission is to wait for the day when God will ask him to kill Leviathan, a sea creature that some believe to be similar to a whale. Both creatures will die in the battle, but Behemoth will be glorified for fulfilling his mission. Then, the flesh of the two monsters will be served as a feast to the surviving humans. Leviathan is a fierce fish mentioned in the Old Testament. It is a creature that, in some cases, can have a mythological or symbolic interpretation, depending on the context in which the word is used. It is usually described as having large proportions. In the Old Testament, the image of Leviathan is first portrayed in the book of Job, chapter 41, and in the book of Isaiah, chapter 27, as a sea serpent. Its description in the mentioned passage is brief. It was considered by the Catholic Church during the Middle Ages as the representative demon of the fifth sin, envy, also being treated as one of the seven infernal princes. An explanatory note reveals a first definition, a monster represented in the form of a crocodile. According to Phoenician mythology, it should not be forgotten that in the various descriptions in the Old Testament, it is characterized in different forms as it merges with other animals. Forms such as those of a sea dragon, serpent, and octopus, similar to the kraken, are also quite common. The Book of Job, chapters 40 and 41, provides the most impressive image of Leviathan, describing it as the greatest or most powerful of aquatic monsters. In the dialogue between God and Job, the former proceeds with a series of questions that reveal the characteristics of the monster, such as, No one is so fierce as to dare to stir him up. Who then is able to stand against me? Who has given to me that I should repay him whatever is under them? Whole heaven is mine. I will not keep silence concerning his limbs or his mighty strength or his goodly frame. Who can strip off his outer garment? Who would come near him with a bridle? Who can open the doors of his face? Around his teeth is terror. His back is made of rows of shields, shut up closely as with a seal. One is so near to another that no air can come between them. They are joined one to another. They clasp each other and cannot be separated. His sneezings flash forth light, and his eyes are like the eyelids of the dawn. Out of his mouth go flaming torches, sparks of fire. Leap forth. Out of his nostrils comes forth smoke as from a boiling pot and burning rushes. His breath kindles coals and a flame comes forth from his mouth. Leviathan is described as a sea serpent, long, strong, twisting, and fast. It also appears in the Bible as the largest of aquatic animals, such as a crocodile or in the form of a huge fish, a whale. 
In Jewish mythology, Ziz is a giant bird so enormous that it blocks the sunlight with the span of its wings. It is considered an archetype of monstrous creatures. Behemoth, Leviathan, and Ziz are traditional motifs in Jewish craftsmanship. Some creationists have identified Ziz as a kind of petrosaur, which was the largest flying animal in Earth's geological history. Although there is no direct account of Ziz in the Bible, it is mentioned in Tomorrow You Will March Down Against Them. They will surely come up by the ascent of Ziz. You will find them at the end of the valley, east of the wilderness of Jeruel. Just as Leviathan is the king of fish, Ziz is designated to rule over birds. Ziz is as monstrously sized as Leviathan itself. Its ankles rest on the ground and its head reaches the sky. We've reached the end of another video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel as it greatly helps me continue. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching until the end, and until next time.